Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Crystal, and today I wanted to tell you about my cute little pet box turtle lunch. Now, let me go get her right now. I have her in a wooden box that was constructed especially for her. Here she is. Okay, so this is lunch. Lunch is a hybrid turtle, so we're not exactly sure what kind of turtle she is, but we think that one of the species that she's a hybrid of is a three-toed three box turtle. So if you've ever seen a picture of a three-toed box turtle, she looks a lot like one, except that she actually has five toes on her feet instead of three. Now, Lunch is a female box turtle, and we know this because she laid an egg a long time ago, and then she ate it. So, she's definitely a female. But other ways that I've heard you can tell is by looking at the back of her shell. A female's back of the shell is shaped a little differently than a male, and normally a female is not as brightly colored as a male. But as you can see, she has some pretty bright orange spots on her. Now let me go ahead and put her back down because, you, as you can see, she's kind of moving around a lot, so I think she wants to be put down. So Lunch is very sweet, and she's a sociable turtle. As you can see, she didn't appear to be shy at all. She's been around people a lot. I mean, my boyfriend has had her for at least 10 years. We found her in the wild, so she wasn't originally bought at a pet shop or anything like that. She was found sitting on the side of the interstate. Her home, which was a forest, was being cut down because new construction was being done in that area, so she no longer had a place to live, and my boyfriend decided just to pull over and jump out and save her so she wouldn't get hit by a car. We've had her ever since. Now, like I said, she's a very sweet turtle. She's only bitten one person once the entire time that we saw her, and that was my boyfriend, because what he was doing was he was kind of holding her up. Like, I'll show you now, I'm not going to hold her as close. He's holding her up like this, like she was a hamburger, <laughs> and she, she stuck her head out really quickly and just kind of tried to nip the tip of his, tip, his nose, but he was all right. It, it didn't cause him to bleed or anything like that. <laughs> Apparently, she didn't like that he was holding her up like a hamburger. So, anyway, I think that she is a sweet, adorable pet to have, and if you love turtles, I highly recommend them. Now, when you're searching for a turtle, though, you might not always want to take them out of the wild, because a lot of turtles, you know, they're, they're really very particular about where they live. They have their own sort of territory. So... It, it probably wouldn't be okay to take them out of their home. They, they might not adjust to a new home very easily, anything like that. So if you're going to get a turtle, you might want to get one from the pet shop. Now, the type of turtle that you get depends on what you're looking for in the turtle. There, there are turtles that come in all sizes. You know, some turtles can get quite big. Uh, lunch, that box turtle, that's as big as she's going to get. She's probably over 30 years old and she's not going to grow any larger. But there are other tortoises, she's a type of tortoise that live on land that can be, you know, as big as a watermelon. And then there are other smaller turtles, aquatic turtles, that are only about that big, and they're really cute. The only thing about them is they kind of smell bad. Lunch doesn't smell bad at all. I and mean, we have her in a mulch box, and, you know, it's pretty large size box so she can climb around and everything in it but she just doesn't smell bad at all the way an aquatic turtle might the aquatic turtle of course smells that bad because you would have it in an aquarium and they'd be moving the aquarium so you have you have to really make sure that you clean their aquarium regularly and otherwise as far as caring for your turtle boats my turtle my boyfriend and I's turtle at Vicky, she loves to climb on things. Otherwise, she's a very easy pet to take care of. She's very slow metabolism. So you only have to feed her about every other day. And 
you do want to try to diversify her diet. Like, you're supposed to feed her fruits and vegetables. Uh, turtles are scavenger by, scavengers in the wild. So they'll eat all kinds of things normally, but our turtle's kind of spoiled. And really, she likes grub worms. Well, not grub worms, super worms. You know, beetle larvae. So that's her favorite thing to eat, and really it's almost all the time the only thing that she likes to eat. We also we do to make sure that she has enough calcium so her shell stays healthy, is that we will feed her this larva, and I'll often dip it into this calcium powder that you can find at a pet shop. We get the beetle larva at the pet shop too. And that'll make sure, just make sure she's strong and healthy and she won't, you know, get any sort of bacterial infections in her shell. So I was hoping today that I could show you what it's like to feed her. I don't know if she's hungry or not, but oh, it looks like she hid in her box. So she might not be hungry, but I'm going to go ahead and try to feed her a grub anyway, just to see if she's hungry. And you have to see what it's like to feed a box to And this is her favorite food, so she almost always jumps at it if she's hungry at all. We have her beetle larva in a box over here with some mulch. That's normally, you just have to throw some lettuce in there for them. Honestly, mm. they bury themselves pretty well in here. Yeah, there's one. Maybe we'll go ahead and munch down. We usually feed them to her with chopsticks, because that's her favorite way to eat them. It's like feeding her Asian food. You know in some Asian countries they eat throwable beetle larva? Let's see if she wants to eat it. Not really want it. Boop. Dropped it. Catch it with chopsticks, too. I'm actually not that good at chopsticks. But, I don't know. Oh, do you want to grab? I'm going to lose it. I can be able to give it to you if you don't bite it. Here you go. Go. Okay, it doesn't seem like she's really very interested in it right now. Oh, maybe because I'm holding her. Sometimes she likes to chase them down in her box, but I guess she might not want to eat it because I'm holding her at the moment. And sometimes she's just not hungry. Usually she'll let you know, like she'll turn around and go to the corner of our box. Just catch this grub over here. Put it back. If she's not interested, she'll definitely let us know most of the time. She even has this thing kind of like puppies do. She'll sit in the middle of her box and look up at the beetle larva box if she's hungry <laughs> until someone goes over there and feeds her the beetle larva. Normally, when she's really hungry, she'll practically chase it down. But <laughs> before we could put it in the box before it's even rush, she'll chase it down. I mean, turtles can move very, you know, very quickly when they want to. And she'll chase it down, and she's just going, oh, just like that. <laughs> so, anyway, it's been good talking to you, and I hope if you ever plan to have a box turtle, that you enjoy having them as a pet as much as I like having lunch as a pet. Oh, and by the way, in case you're curious, her name's Lunch, because it's kind of like Lunchbox, you know, when we first got it, we thought it sounded cute to name her Lunch. So her name's Lunch, and it doesn't actually have anything to do with eating her or anything like that. Even though some people where we live here in Louisiana do eat turtles. I don't, but she's just too cute to eat. So anyway, have a good evening.